Okay, so as I've mentioned, the branches of the aorta are a little different in cats and pigs. Um, so we're going to test those from the model. But you'll see here the two branches. The first one becomes this right subclavian artery hiding beneath the vein here. And then we'll have the right common carotid artery. All right, the next branch will be the left common carotid artery. And then the final branch will become the left subclavian artery. So coming down this side, we'll see that that le right subclavian artery will become the right brachial artery. Now getting down into the radial and median arteries, we'll test those from the model. And then coming back, the radial median veins and the median cubital vein will also be tested from the model. You see here we'll have the right brachial vein. And then coming down from the head, right external jugular vein. On the left side, left subclavian vein, left external jugular vein. So back here, over here again, right subclavian vein and left uh, right external jugular vein will dump together to become the right brachiocephalic vein. So left subclavian, left external jugular will become left brachiocephalic veins. So it's much longer to get over to the right side. Both of those together will dump into the superior vena cava, which will go back to the right atrium. All right, so now we'll see the ascending aorta, aortic arch, and in a small segment it would be the descending aorta. All right, if we pull up the lungs and the heart, we'll see running all the way down the thoracic aorta. And as it pierces the diaphragm, that will become the abdominal aorta. So I'll this down here. Uh, this first branch coming off, you'll see the splenic artery, and then this branch going right into the mesentery. It's the superior mesenteric artery. Right? The abdominal aorta continues. Branch off would be the left renal artery going to the kidney, right renal artery on the other side. Continuing down the abdominal aorta, we'll see another small branch. This here going up to the mesentery with the intestines, so that would be the inferior mesenteric artery. Right. Abdominal aorta continues, and this bifurcation point we'll see the left and right common iliac arteries. And as we leave the pelvic cavity, we'll become the left femoral artery. Uh, continuing on down, uh, the left popliteal, left posterior tibial, and left dorsalis pedis will all be tested from the model. So now coming back up, the great cephinous vein will be tested from the model also. <clears throat> but we'll see here the right femoral vein, left femoral vein on the other side. These two are going to dump in, go into the pelvic cavity and enter the right and left common iliac veins which will both dump into the inferior vena cava. Now we don't see the inferior mesenteric or superior mesenteric veins. I'm not going to test on those. They weren't really on the model, but you'll need to know that anything coming from the intestines has to go through the liver to be processed. Those are your nutrients. So the inferior mesenteric would go up here and dump into the splenic vein, which would go to the portal circulation for the liver. Superior mesenteric vein would go straight into the portal circulation. Uh, we'll see here, right and left, renal veins bringing the blood back from the kidneys. Inferior vena cava will continue up going through the diaphragm. It will still be inferior vena cava here and all the way back into the right atrium.